Okay, so in this video we're going to cover how to uninstall the AUS Logix antivirus. And if you check this thing out, it's actually Bitdefender, the Bitdefender antivirus. If you get to looking at this, at this thing, if you're at all familiar with Bitdefender, which I'm very familiar with Bitdefender, it's the same exact product. It's just been rebranded for AUS Logix. I mean, the uninstaller is the same, so we're going to go next, remove, and uh, by the way, I'm going to show you another way to do this. If you get down here, all programs, you'll notice that, that uh, AUS Logic's got the repair remove option. You've also got in the control panel, whether this is on XP, Vista, or 7, you can go to start or the thing formerly known as start, depending on if you have Vista or 7, and then into the control panel, and from control panel to add remove programs in XP, or if you got Vista or 7, it's uninstall a program. Once you're in, you hit one of those two, and it's going to launch your options. And so this being uh, XP, it's going to take it a second to load all of the items at the same time. Or if you've got Vista or 7, you may get lucky and it loads it a little bit faster. So uh, emphasis on may get lucky. Hit remove. You'll come up to the same spot and you go back from there. We're going to hit remove and remove again. So it's interesting. It, it behaves exactly like... Um, behaves exactly like Bitdefender antivirus. So it'd be interesting to find out if one of them's any cheaper than the other. I kind of doubt it. Uh, let's do a little experiment while we're waiting here. Let's go out and Google AUS Logix antivirus and see what the price tag is on it. Because Bitdefender is $24.95 for a year for their antivirus. AUS Logix antivirus. So let's just do a little experiment here. AUS Logix protection without slowing down your computer. So it's still thinking about doing our antivirus uninstall. Uh, looks like it's twenty nine ninety five a year, probably. Yeah, it's got the exact same GUI as uh, Bitdefender. So let's check this out. Let's just do a little add to cart here and see if that's for three users for three for uh, three users for one year rather. Um, it looks like it's a little bit more expensive, uh, unless that is for three. Annual subscription, one year. It doesn't say. It says quantity one, but it doesn't say for how many, for how many of these. So I would say that you're not only better off with the main Bitdefender antivirus if that's what you want, but uh, yeah, one one is twenty nine ninety five, two through five they they cheapen it. So you're actually paying five dollars more for the same exact antivirus. That's funny. So it's going through and we're doing. Uh, it's validating the install. That's interesting. We're going to run through on this one. Like I said, if you've uninstalled Bitdefender, then basically you've uninstalled AUS Logix. And if you if you look through my videos, I'll probably have one posted on how to uh, do maintenance on Bitdefender. Um, if you know anything about me from any of my other videos, you'll find that Bitdefender is by and large my favorite antivirus. Um, it and Kaspersky uh, find for me and my clients more than just about anything else. I can't name a single product as of the posting of this video, which is in the middle of February 2010, any antivirus that, that outdoes them on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, actually, as we speak on a, on another computer for one of my clients, I've actually got a uh, Bitdefender scan running, removing all the garbledy goop from their computer. So that's how much I like that product. Here we go now, removing the files. In the background, you see my dream rig there. A nice Jeep Rubicon in red. I think I'd like to have it maybe in a burgundy or in a um, in a black with a hard top. Pretty nice. But anyway, guy's got a dream, huh? So it's removing our files. And slowly, step by step, we're getting a little closer to the end here. So it's going to prompt, it'll finish, give us a finish option, and then it's going to want us to restart the computer. Uh, so far, it's carried on exactly the way that I would expect the Bitdefender antivirus to carry on. So I will assume that it's going to do the exact same thing. And uh, we're removing all the backup files right now. One of the things that you'll want to know is if this fails, uh, post me uh, information that you get. And if I need to, I'll post a response video about how to deal with whatever fails. Uh, sometimes a Bitdefender uninstall will have a problem, and they've got a, a BD uninstall tool, Bitdefender uninstall tool. So then that the same should be true here for the AUS Logic software. We get to wait just a little bit more.
Patience, patience is a virtue, and in this instance, I guess we're going to have to be very virtuous. Here we go. Finish. In this case, I'm going to hit no. Uh, if you know anything about me in my other videos, I'm a big fan of letting Windows restart itself. So in a minute, I'm going to hit start, shut down, and restart the computer. But before then, I've got to, I've got to uh, stop this video and finish finalizing the video. When this comes back up, if you find that, that you've still got portions of it in place, let me know. As I said, don't forget to post any comments. Don't forget to rate the video. And don't forget to subscribe. There's more good stuff on the way. Have a great day.